Hello everybody, welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. In this video we are going to look at flight planning in Microsoft Flight Simulator. There are two types of flights that you can plan using the simulator. One of them is the VFR flight which stands for Visual Flight Rules where you fly visually by seeing and looking around and seeing which direction you are going. Uh, the other one is the IFR flight which stands for Instrument Flight Rules where you literally use the uh, instruments, the navigation instruments of your aircraft to navigate and travel from point A to point B. So let's get to the world map and see how it's done in the simulator. We have the aircraft selected here. Uh, you can obviously go and select a different one, but uh, I will stick to the Cessna for now. For this video, we are going to select London City Airport, Echo Golf Lima Charlie for our departure and our arrival will be Gatwick Airport in Lon uh, London. Okay. So as soon as we plug in the departure and the arrival, as you see, the simulator generated a plan for us, which literally shows us directly from point A to point B, a straight line, which is a VFR direct GPS flight. So in this type of flight, you usually fly from point A to point B in a direct line. The other type of VFR flight is VOR to VOR. VOR stands for VHF Omnidirectional Radio. So this is a beacon uh, that transmits to a circular, circular 360 degree radial, which is great for instrument flights. Uh, and as you see here, uh, if you zoom in, the simulator added a midpoint, which is the BIG VOR beacon. If you click on the BIG, it will give you the details of the nav aid over here like the latitude, longitude, longitude and the type it says it's a VOR distance measuring equipment beacon and its frequency you can actually dial this frequency into your uh, nav radio and travel to this location but that's a subject for another tutorial so this is two different types of VFR flights that you can do in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now let's look how we can do an IFR flight. So I selected the Airbus A320neo for this demonstration and this part of the tutorial. So let's just select our departure. So this time we are going to select London Heathrow which is Echo Golf Lima Lima and we are arriving to Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot which is Frankfurt Airport. This is a long route, but as you see, the sim gave us the route uh, for a direct GPS flight, but that's, what, that's not what we want. We want to do an IFR flight, and you have two options for IFR as well. Low altitude airways are airways for flights below 18,000 feet, and high altitude airways are for flights above 18,000 feet. So if you are planning to do a flight below 18,000, you should select low altitude airways. If you are planning to do a flight above 18,000, you should select high altitude airways for uh, a good simulation and waypoint generation by the simulator. So let's just select the high altitude airways because it's a long destination from London to Heathrow and it's not feasible to do low altitude airways with an Airbus due to economical reasons. The aircraft will consume too much fuel if you are flying low altitude airways. Okay, so as you see, the sim generated a route and waypoints for us. But let's say we want to depart for, or we want to park at a ramp, not at a start from a runway. So there are two ways of doing it. The first way is to zoom in all the way down to the airport and select one of the ramps that are shown here as white dots. Or the other way of doing it is to open the drop down and select one of the gates that you see here randomly. Uh, let's say we are going to park at route 210. So when you select that, it will assign you that and luckily it's closer to the runway. Okay, so now for our departure, we have one more step that we need to do, which is to select our SID 
standard instrument departure from this drop down box. I created the plan in the sim brief uh, for the same destination and I am seeing our seed for this flight is showing as Delta Echo Tango 2 Foxtrot. So let's see Delta Echo Tango 2 Foxtrot from yes runway 27 right. So when we select that as you see now this orange line is our seed. Let's go to the arrival side and we have to do this as well for the arrivals and we have to select our star which is standard terminal uh, arrival route or approach route one of them and what I see over here is we are flying into Frankfurt directly but for demonstrating uh, we are going to land at runway 25 left and let's select this one and see how it picks the star as you see this green line is going to be our star into Frankfurt Airport and now the last thing we need to do is to select our approach there are different ways of doing it which is our nav radio navigation localizer uh, VOR DME DME stands for distant measuring equipment or the most common one is an ILS approach so when we select this as you see this magenta line is going to be our final approach to runway 25 left all right guys this is flight planning in Microsoft Flight Simulator I'm pretty sure there are more things that we can speak about but just to keep the video short I'm going to wrap it up here if you are enjoying the content please consider subscribing see you on the next video